Well, hello, Gail. Hello. We're at the end of the 2021 school year. We've just finished a big year. Yep. Um, and you have been using this thing all year called Daybook. I don't know anything about Daybook, to be honest, but you've never uh, stopped telling me about it. You think that it's the best thing ever yep. for teachers. So um, I'd, I'm interested for you to just show me how it all works. So, um, yeah. Okay, I am going to share the screen mm -hmm. and there's my day book on my okay. computer. So basically, in a nutshell, what is day book? All right, so um, it's a teacher's diary. So you can see here I'm in the diary view mm -hmm. and it's got my five period day, although you can put however many periods you have. Yeah. Um, you can add in all your lessons and it, you create your own timetable. So basically, it's like the old paper diary, but digital form. And I've got it on my laptop, on my iPad, and on my um, on my computer. Awesome. So it covers all that those is. different devices. And my phone. And your phone. Okay. Yes. So you, you can literally take your day book uh, at wherever you go and be able to yep. use it. So that's yep. that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, okay. Show me some of the features. So let's start with the timetable. Sure. Okay. So up here, I'm going to press that button and it pulls up my timetable that I created. Now I'm not really tech savvy, so mm. it must be easy if I can create it. It was really easy. And I'll be creating a new one for 2022 soon. And we'll probably I'll show you how to do that later. Yep. Um you can see I have week A and week B. I have a two week timetable. So but you can have a one week timetable or whatever. It's very flexible. Um, it you can create four separate terms if you have different um, lessons on different terms but I just copied mine and pasted it each term so I and I ha, and also I can see you can see here I can edit it um, if I want to and I just move I can just move things around once I've created all my lessons um, I don't want to save that I'm going to discard the changes um, but you can change it around however much you want to. Cool. Um, that's the timetable view. But you can see here oh, I'm on the day view. So that's okay. my diary for, that was for Wednesday, 24th of March. Yep. So on this view, you can then just scroll down and just see all the lessons that you have for that day. Exactly. And yep. you're able to even put um, information in there that tells you what, gives you prompts about what you're going to do for that lesson. Yeah, so if, uh, you can see here that I can add links. Um, oh, I can cool. sort of add a whole bunch of things and make it pretty if I wanted to. Mine's not very exciting. Um, but also there's three buttons here, three these things where I can actually add a photo or an image. Okay. Um, and like the other thing is, you know how sometimes if there's a casual take your lesson? Yeah. I can export that day. So I'm just pressing the export button. And so what it does is it's it's just thinking at the moment, but it creates a PDF version yeah. of that day so I, that I can download. And I'm just downloading it now. So you can download that whole page there. Yep. And then I assume you're able to then just send that to... Yep. Whoever needs that. So day. there's oh. that day there, and oh, I can cool. send that to whoever. I can um, just save it to myself or send it by email to someone. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's really helpful that document there. Yeah, cool. Um, um, okay, so let's talk about. So this is the diary page. Yep. Um, and again, you, this has just all the information that you're going to need for a particular day, and you can be updating that. Um, you know, ahead of time too. Like yep. you don't, you don't need to just do that one day. You could be yep. two or three weeks in advance typing in what you're going to be doing. Exactly. And, yeah. I, this is what I love the most because, as you know, I'm a very organised person. I sometimes I have my lessons in for the whole term. Right. So you can go to lesson view, and if you have a look at this, this is all the lessons for um, that was term one, 2021 for my year eight class, and. See down the bottom, that's how it looks when you haven't got a lesson put in there. So I could literally start typing up a lesson in there. Yeah. Um, now, you can see here assessment. I had an assessment in week nine, 
and we have to give two weeks notification for mm -hmm. assessments. Yeah, and so that. we have to like, so I, I then can go two weeks before and hopefully I'll find it where I put the assessment. Did I go past it? Yeah, it went past it. There it is. That, so I, I put that in as soon as I wrote my assessment in, I put the notification in that lesson yeah. so I couldn't forget. And if you have a look at this also, every one of these lessons is dated with the um, period and everything like that. With So for registration, oh. this is what I use. Perfect. This makes the whole registration um, thing very easy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just got all my lessons in a row. Yeah. I love it for registration. It's not something that I love to do. Yeah. Um, now, the other thing that I, um, that I really like about this is it also has um, an export feature. Yeah. So I could export a whole term's worth of work, just like the diary export, I can export the whole term. And I keep, I keep those in my um, um, other part of my computer so that I know what I taught that year and I can actually recreate it. Yeah. But even more, like, so they've got this um, thing called save as a template. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a new feature. I haven't actually had a chance to use it yet. But if I press that, what I can do is create a template of the lessons for a certain topic or a certain term. Mm -hmm. And if I'm teaching, like, say, 8.1 maths, I'm actually teaching that again next year. Mm. I'm going to save that template for term one, save it, and then I can actually load that template back into my new diary. So here in 2021, I'm going to create a new diary. So mm -hmm. I'm going to add my new diary, make that 22. Yeah. And then get, um, you know, select a country because this is all over the world. New South Wales. Um, what level do you teach and et cetera. And what I'm doing here is um, I'm going to just write, get started. I'm actually creating a new diary. So I, I don't think I'll do that just yet because I'm not ready to put my new timetable in. But mm. um, I, what I would do then, as soon as I put my new timetable in, I'm going to export or actually load that, template. load that template up into next term. Now, I know things change each year. So this is the other thing that's awesome. Can you see these, um, can you see these arrows here? Yeah. So if I, let's just say, for instance, um, someone says, oh, there's a swimming carnival and I've already put all my lessons in, I can actually see how I've got these free lessons down here. I mean, I created that unusual lesson there. But let's say there's a, um, there's a swimming carnival just here. I can actually move all my lessons down and I can keep moving them down. And it moves all the lessons down and I've got suddenly a new blank lesson where I can write in swimming yeah. carnival. Yeah, so you've, you've been able to just quickly move everything that was in its place down one Yep. so that it just moves to the next period down. So yeah, and then if I want to go really back easy, up again, it? I can just um, move everything back up, move everything back up, and then I'm back where I was. So I find that really useful because, because I do, do tend to write my lessons in early. Um, sometimes things crop up and I have to move things, but that's, you know, it's not a problem. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, the thing that I really like about this more than anything is just how easy it is to grab everything from the previous year and just put it straight into your day book mm. for the next year. Yeah. Obviously, it's, it's able to still be um, changed and, and that kind of thing. Yeah. When, you know, we want to always be improving what we do. Yeah. Um, so it's just a really easy way to kind of start out your, your day book with the lessons that mm -hmm. you're going to be likely teaching, but then you can go in there and just adjust it. Um, makes It makes doing your, your next year's day book so easy. Yeah. I mean, for me, I've been using a paper one uh, for as long as I can remember, and um, I've got to basically start again. Every, every year yeah. you get your day book, it's blank. Yeah. There's nothing there and you've got to start writing in all your stuff again. And it's, you know, so much easier just being able to grab previous ones and put it into there. So Yeah, I feel like I, I can constantly grow because it's like I can see what I did last year and then I'm constantly adding to mm. what I've done or changing. So it's like I can feel the growth happening because I can see what I did and I can add to it. Yeah. Um, what's this feedback one down the bottom? Is okay. This... So 
this is the awesome thing. A couple of times I've gone, you know, I, I think I would like a certain feature. Mm. And so I'm able to actually ask the people at Daybook whether they are interested in adding that feature and they get back to me and they add it to their list of th new things that they're creating all the time. So mm -hmm. like I said, this, um, this new template thing up the top, that is a new feature that someone's obviously suggested. So load as a template. Yeah. And I guess at the end of the year, this is the time when we're thinking about those things. Yeah, cool. So the people from Daybook are constantly innovating and changing yeah. the product to try and make it better. And I guess you can be part of the yeah, solution. Yeah, I feel like I'm part of it. Yeah, that's great. I Very get really cool. excited when there's new features and they do seem to be, you know, they're obviously asking teachers what they want. So that's awesome. Yeah. That's it. Awesome. Well, I mean, yeah. the thing I like about it is it's not, it doesn't look too hard. It's not <laughs> something else that's no. going to, you know, another computer program that's going to be something that I've got to try and learn. I think I can handle this pretty pretty simply there's there's yeah. not a whole lot to it it's going but it is going to um provide a massive um ability for you to save a lot of time yeah um in your day book planning so i i, I like it i, I think it's you, good i'm going to show you how to set it up okay you, okay you're on okay all right, <laughs> all right see ya see you guys bye, bye.